Hello guys, and today I'm going to do a review on oh, this infiltrator. Okay, as I was saying, I'm doing a review on this infiltrator. This set has 662 pieces, ages 9 to 14, set number 75096. I was reading that from the box. You get Darth Maul, R2D2. Qui-Gon, this little thing. I don't know what that's called. Watto and Anakin. Honestly, I don't know why they included Watto, because he's not in that scene. So, yeah. And he's not in the scene. So, I don't know why they included him. <coughs> oh. I've gotten a new lighting, because it's from the afternoon. So, my lighting is Get on to the first figure. Darth Maul. He's really detailed. And he's got his red double bladed lightsaber. Wait, just just look at that. Just pause the video and look at that face for a second. Doesn't it look awesome? He's got that more detailing than back torso opening. I meant back printing, not back torso printing. So the saber's kind of big and there's really nowhere to put it and just stuff it in the cockpit. So that's what I do. And he also comes with horns. But I think they look a bit ugly on him. So I prefer a hood. He just doesn't want to stand up today. So here we have R2D2. He's so detailed. It says my camera is in like 480p. Just make it to the highest one if you can. So that's R2-D2. Next we have Qui-Gon. I don't know what this thing's called. Just tell me in the comment section. If you know. His two faces. And he's like. I'm a grump. Give me my coffee. Sort of face. So printing. You need to go back printing. What the heck? Okay, so here's Watto. Honestly, it's the same Watto from Pod Racers. So I this this piece is rubber. So I really don't know. Don't need. Don't know. Don't need to go that much into depth about this figure. It's just water. Now we have little boy Anakin. It's little boy Darth Vader. Besides that, you have back printing. And his hair is a bit too big for his face. It's his other face like, let's get out of here, sort of thing. Let's get all the minifigures off here. And it comes with an extra lightsaber hilt, so you can make two lightsabers. Uh, I can't really fit it on the screen, it's huge. So first we'll start with the front part. There's like a landing gear there. So these can fold. Just contract the landing gear. So these can fold down on both sides, as you probably will fold up and down. So it's, this is flying mode. You don't really see it that well. 
So I need to land it because this thing's heavy. So there's this little knob here. And if you push this back, watch this. The probe droids come out. And this is like this little thing that just pops back up in there. And I'll show you how that works in a second. And you have these little... And don't comment saying I'm holding these wrong. Because I'm not. I'm not holding these wrong. Th this is actually the right way to hold them. It's in um, the little one Darth Maul lands on Tatooine. It shows the blue side on the front and the side that way. You know the instructions show it different. I just keep it like that so it stays in the correct way. You got three of them. You see like one of those. And how you load them back in is, oh yeah, these are stickers. open this up that opens so I can tilt this thing over on its side and there's like that little area there you take off this piece it shows the space and this is that little red knob the knob that that like bursts the thing open And so you can just remove those pieces off. Put them in there. And then if you slide it over here, there are these little things that fold down. Both sides. And you can get out his speeder. I think this speeder's kind of ugly. The speeder's kind of ugly considering that it's Darth Maul's speeder. I'm running low on time, so I'm gonna have to make this quick. The video's gonna be about 13 minutes long, I bet. And you can put Darth Maul in there. That's what he looks like in his speeder. It's supposed to be a little crescent, but I'm not really seeing that crescent. So I'm just gonna put it back in. And you don't have to use this for the speed. It's also great for storing astromech droids. And you can also store like droidicas in there and stuff. You can also store like General Grievous in there. You can store droidica in there. You can store hostages in there. You can store hostages in there. Unless you wanted to kill them because it's like this little thing is like drop it from space. So they've got spring-loaded shooters. I shot them both. You should all know what the spring-loaded shooters look like. And this set comes with two of them. So now we get on to the cockpit. You have to open this part up. You can only like do that and then you put down that. And then these two parts open and you can just do that. But in order to get a in, you have to lift that up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there are stickers in there. I'm like, oh. Just some technical difficulties. So that opens, and then you can see this little seat in there. I know there's supposed to be like a piece somewhere in there, but it wouldn't stay on. And I don't know why there's two of them in there. Probably because I got mixed up and just put one in there. So you take, Darth Maul was like under the ship. I don't know why. He was. He did. No. Ah, uh, in the thing, uh, in the movie, the thing, the movie. Um, 
he doesn't really come up like that. It's only this portion that opens, but that top never opened in the movie. Put him. I'm running all the time. So he's in there, and if you want to store his horns in there, oh, it's a little rubber piece. So you can like make sure to put it on there because if you put it here, then it'll fall off. Put it there. There it'll fall off. So we'll just put it right there. And if you want to store his lightsaber, there's this little thing. Or you can do that. And it closes fine. I have a modification to make. I have a, a modification that you can make to, and I can do it. That that's printed to hold this lightsaber. So first, you have to do that. And if you see those little hook pieces there, take a close look at them. These are the updated ones. I, I have a ton of the old ones. I bet a lot of people have a ton of the old ones. So you have to put those like this, and then you can just set this little table down like that. So yeah, guys. That is the review of the Sith Infiltrator. Bye.